Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some amazing maps for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So the first one is maps for MCPE, so that is a good maps app you should get because it does have a lot of maps and they do work. So if I just move this back here, and the also one, and there's also MCPE Master, and those have actually better maps. So let's go and open Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I'm going to show some of the ma maps that I've downloaded. So the first one is the Floating Town. It's not really a floating town, but it is pretty good. This one, I think, is the only one that actually gives credit to themselves. So this is not built by me. This is a map. And I think this is a village. Because I, I think the village generated normally and they, like, sort of changed it. I like the way they did change it, though. As you see, it's pretty amazing. And it's created by Dennis Al, a.k.a. Greek Games. Hmm. Hmm. Very weird. And it looks like there's a lot of boats here. Um, what's this place? Was this the earlier? This looks like an amazing house, by the way. But we cannot spend our time on that all the time. Because Floating Town might be a cool map, but really not. Now, here are some really great cities. Like Havel City. I think this is pretty great. You can tell I did not build this. I mean, as a YouTuber, who would who would spend their time doing this instead of making so much videos that are awesome? Look, this is an insane city map. It's pretty awesome, and I believe this is Havel City because um, that's what it said. I don't know what Havel City is. I've never been to it. I don't even know if it even exists, or is it just some legend? Um, is this construction? Uh, it looks like there's construction going here. Why is there sponge? Is that sponge supposed to be cheese? I don't know why sponge looks like cheese in the new update, but, um, oh, look, dropper. Um, okay, I didn't, I failed. Anyway, the, it's pretty amazing, and so is Andra City, if Andra City even exists. Um, this city is, like, probably really great, but when you see the, uh, the other one, it's also going to be pretty great. So, let's just show Andra City. Andra City. So, here it is. And it's pretty amazing as well. This one is different though. I think there's construction going on here as well. But this is... Am I on the exact same... Are these two cities the exact same? There's no way. There's no way you can download two cities twice. Um... Anyway, this is a very big city, and you see it gives a lot of lag because there's so much blocks and stuff. So if you just, like, have a wither coming in here, it's going to, like, stop the lag a little bit, I guess. Um, hold on, hold on. If this, if there's an exact same building here, then I have the exact same city. Hold on, let's go see Havel City for a sec. Second C at Havel City. Uh-huh. Wait. Yeah, this is. It is. Show me it. Where was I? Um, I'm 
I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's gotta be. Over. Should be right over here? Nope, it's not the same city. Sorry, guys. Anyway. Um. Let's just check the lucky block race i think the lucky block race is pretty awesome now these don't have any mods in it but i'll show you what they mean by lucky blocks so um we've got obsidian i think i'm just going to take your items are safe within all right i'm just going to take a few obsidian and let's just show you what the lucky blocks are like. Yep, that's what a lucky block is like. I also got a... This is... These are what lo the lucky blocks are. Oh. Oh, come on. That was very bad. Oh, no. TNT. Ugh. As you see, some of it is pretty weird. Oh. This gives me good thing to do um uh let's go oh no okay Whew. oh oh we just made a cobblestone generator i think whoa anyway huh. oh okay okay that's very bad very bad Oh, man. Did you see that? Like, all four TNT. Sheep? Okay. I'm fine with the sheep. Um, there's also this. I'm not sure what this is about, but let's just... Delete unnecessary data, because I don't care about this unnecessary data. Um, come on. Okay. You've got a wolf. Wolf. Okay. Wolf, help me. Help me, wolf. Huh. So this is the lucky block race. Uh, sorry. Anyway, we only have a few too much. Uh, a few minutes for the entire thing. So let's go to the Bungie Palace. And here we are. The amazing palace. My gosh, it's so big. Is that a throne? Yep, there's a throne here as well. Ah, so comfy from a behind. Anyway, next map is... Oh, I really like this one. It's the Clash of Clans pixel art. Come on. This is, it, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, you cannot say that's not cool. Look at that. It's Clash of Clans. It's a little Clash of Clans demo thingy. Oh, looks like we have some Elixir right here. Let's go get that Elixir. <laughs> Elixir is ready. And as you see, when you get close to it, it's like, uh, what the heck is this? And then you go far and you're like, why do I recognize this a little bit? Uh, this, I'm, I'm starting to recognize this as, is that a town hall? Is that a wizard tower? Wow. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, that, uh, th these aren't created by me. I'm not good at pixel lighting. But here is Frozen Adventure. I'm guessing it'll be a castle. Yep. Over here, we've got like a little kingdom. And there's a kingdom, and it's. Uh, I guess it's all about ice because there's got snow everywhere. Um, but that's Frozen Adventure. The next one is. This one is not a pixel, but this is a 3D demo of Clash of Clans. So this is actually 3D. This is not um pixel. 
So this is more voxels. I, I really like the pixel one, though. It was pretty cool. Over here, we've got the town hall. Dark elixir storage. Um, this is a archer tower. This is a clan castle. Um, this is a cannon. This is a cannon. There's a bunch of walls. Another archer tower. Um, this is a wizard tower. Elixir storage. Um, Elixir collector. Spell factory. And it's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Pretty awesome. Pretty great. Pretty awesome. Very awesome. Anyway, next is the dropper map. And the dropper, I really like this map because, um, oh, I'm pretty sure I did a video on the dropper. So when I did that video on the dropper, it's pretty, okay, okay, ugh. As you see, the dropper, it's pretty hard. Like, huh. Anyway. The next map is Invisible Parkour. This one is pretty amazing as well. Let me show you what Invisible Parkour is about. Huh. As you see, there's like the shadow of a block. I have to like stand on the shadows. So there's a shadow right there. The next shadow is right there. The next shadow is right there. I could have made that, but I didn't. Um, as you see, it's pretty weird, pretty awesome, pretty great. Um, next is the texture pack review. I really like this one because this has every single block in Minecraft just set down there. And they're just all there, and if you, like, switch through texture pack, so the, all of the things, they change texture packs as well. As you see, it's pretty amazing. Oh, and even the Enderman. I think they had quite trouble trapping the Enderman because they put him in a minecart. So I guess Enderman can't escape from minecarts. And look, they even got a ghast in here. Oh my god. That's a real ghast. Um, they've got all of the armors, everything, all in item frames, and it'd be pretty awesome if they had the wither boss. I actually want to try spotting the wither boss in the bedrock. More blocks slash items coming soon. Anyway, save and quit. Next, we've got Herobrine underscore ghost. And this is like a horror map. Um, there's a bunch of stuff here. And it's pretty... Very scary. I, I, I don't want to even... I, I don't want to enter. Oh my gosh. What the? What's that? What? Is it one of you? Oh! It's you! Hey! Hey! I need an arrow. Well, I do. Oh, no. Anyway, we only have like 30 seconds to do the next map, so. The last one is Big Castle. And here we are.